So, hello once again. Uh, my name is Carla and I will guide you through today's webinar, Next Level Zirconia. For the last three years, my main focus was at digital dental technology. I have been a part of Dental Impulse for two years. We are a young team of dental technicians located in Rijeka, Croatia. We believe that it's possible to create as natural looking teeth as did nature itself. With all of the new materials and digitalizations of our jobs, we are closer than ever. Among those materials is zirconia. Today we can choose from a variety of color, opacity, translucency, strength, and etc. We called our presentation Next Level because we think that with today's zirconia, we get a possibility to cover every case, no matter how hard the challenge. With new materials comes new approach to the workflow. First of all, getting to know the material that you're working with and knowing in which cases to use which material. As we see on this next slide, we have three basic divisions of zirconia. Zolidafix white, that, the Zolidafix which comes in white, multi-layered or pre-shade form, then Zolid HD which comes in white or, or pre-shade form, and Zolid which comes in white or pre-shade. Also to this we can add ZAI. Usually we don't use it that much, but it's a great material for base. Or maybe if you have a case with really dark stumps, you can use ZAI zirconia to create scalp, to create scalp caps, uh, which will block out any discolor discoloration and create a new base on which you can put any of the other three zirconias. So let's start with Zolid, F Zolid as a FX. <clears throat> As I said, it comes in white, pre-shade or multi-layered form. It's used for single crowns to a maximum of three unit bridges. That is because FX has the smallest flexural strength. Because of its high translucency and high degree of shade stability in 16 Vita 2 shades, we can leave full contour of crowns or we can make a minimal cutback. It's also desirable to have a normal dye color for the, for the case in which you will apply FX. Again, because of his high translucency. For Zolid HD+, it comes in white or pre-shade color. We believe that this is the key material. You can cover almost every case with it. Because of his high flexural strength and high translucency, it's a perfect blend of zirconia to cover case from a single crown to a long span bridge. You can use a minimal cutback for individualization. Also, it's recommended that you use it on normal or slightly discolorated dyes. Again, because of his translucency, there is a possibility that maybe a really dark stump or dye uh, could shine through and the color of your crown will not be realistic. And then the solid, it comes in white or three pre-shade colors. It's also zirconia with strong flexural strength, but low translucency. We can also use it for single crowns to a long span bridges. Because of his opacity, it's recommendable to create minimal to standard cutback to create translucency and individualization by ceramics. His advantage is that you can put it on any dye normal, slightly, or strongly discolorated. His opacity will cover dark base and create a new one for you. So, as our today's material closer to nature, more than ever, we also need to step up our game in shapes. With digitalization, we have opportunity not just to mimic nature, but to actually copy it. So, we created our own library with natural teeth, that covers three most common shapes worldwide. So as you can see, the first one is America. It's a library with the basic shape, soft morphology, and light shading. Then uh, we have a library Europe. Uh, it's kind of a blend of two worlds, right in the middle of America and Asia. It's a great shape just to use all around. And then for the Asia, as you can see, is the most extreme of all with strong morphology, aggressive structure, and intense color, it really stands out the most. So with this library, we have a spectrum of styles, which is universal, and we can apply it to almost all cases. 
So now we are going to focus on processing of the surface in pre-sintered stage. Ceremonial green state finishing kit by Knut Miller. It's really all the all the uh, all the tool that you need. You don't need more than that. So the tool set uh, number two and three we use to create surface structure on full contour or to create mammalon effect on constructions with cutback. It depends on the cutback how aggressive your mammalons should look like. As we see in the picture in the right corner. So for the FX soft, for the HD middle ground of both worlds and for solid pre-shade the most aggressive. Just take in mind that after sintering the crowns we are around they are around 30% smaller. So if it looks too aggressive, don't worry, we need that for the dynamic of color in ceramic afterwards. It's preferably to our state with nanolons. After all, if maybe you don't like it, you can you don't like it, you can always smooth it out after sintering. Then the tool number four, uh, we use that to remove axis of connectors. And later on in the final stage, we smooth the surface with the tool number one. You can use this tool to smooth out any incorrections that were left behind after milling and to smooth the position of connectors. So after the surface uh, processing, we move on to color infilt infiltrations. And this is for white blanks. So, uh, and pre-shades ones. Uh, we don't color immerse crowns made from pre-shades because they are already pre-stains. So we first brush stain white blanks with a one coat of 50% diluted violet in absorbing part of the crown, as you can see in the left picture. One coat is enough because it will give us it will give us a base for color dynamic in ceramics stage. After sintering, you will see the violet under the angle. It will be subtle, but enough to act as a base provider. With this, you get effect of depth, which will manifest, manifest in final stages. Uh, also, with this act, we can make a soft transition to incisal part. And then we move on to immersion coloring. 10 seconds in 100 percent concentrated liquid in matching shade. We prefer not to color the zirconia more than that because with this procedure we have control of and we like to individualize crowns with stains and ceramics later on. Now we are going to talk about cutbacks. As you can see we are back to the basic, basic division. So for the Zolida fix, we made a minimal cutback of 0 0.2 to 0 0.3 milli millimeters. The cutback is that small because we want to use the maximum of FX and that is his translucency. We leave this bit of space for individualization with ceramics if you have an, a complex color. For Zolich HT Plus, we have a cutback of 0 0.3 to 0 0.5 millimeters. Again, HT plus is the middle ground of strength and translucency, but it's not translucent as FX, so we make a bigger cutback. And for solid, we make a cutback of 0 0.6 to 1 mil millimeter, depending on the case. His opacity is the reason for the size of this cutback. With more layers of ceramic, we will create depth and translucency. If you look closely on the last picture, we created a base for depth of color in incisal part. You get an effect of absorption. So after sinterization, we fitted the crowns to the model, checked the bite registration. After crystallization, we stained our crowns in desired color and we put wash on them. To be correct, the wet stains on wet stains with fluffy brush, we sprinkle some dentin on top of it. Now we are going to talk about uh, Zolid HD+. As you know already, it's the newest addition to the Zirconia family. Uh, as, an, as I mentioned earlier, uh, because of his strength and translucency, we can apply it almost everywhere. This is a simple and fast way to achieve individualization and characterization on this zirconia. 
So we have a cutback of 0 0.2 millimeters on vestibular side. Put multicolor, multicolor liner, matching it to the shade of your case. Also, you can, if you have it, put incisal color liner in the incisal part. Then we stain it if it's needed afterwards for more characterization and finish the work with glaze. With flatter crowns, there's no need for bigger cutback more than 0 0.2 to 0 0.3. This is enough for you to achieve individualization on vestibular side, which is visible. visible and create fast and quality workflow. So for the next, we have some examples of zirconia in before and after cases. So the last picture in the right corner is, is a pre-op. Above it is a finished case. And on the left, it's with crowns on model. This whole case was created fully digitally. We only stain the crowns afterwards. So for this case, we use the SolidFX Multilayer 0A1. So again, the same case, but with a full face picture before and after. As you can see, her whole appearance has changed. So here's another example of how SolidFX Multilayer matches beautifully with natural teeth. This is also full contour with minimal shading added to it. <clears throat> and this is only the fixed multilayer A2, A3. Next, we have Zolid FX multilayer B2, B3. Uh, first picture are stumps in the mouth. As you can see, it's a normal color dye, which is recommendable for FX. Uh, second picture is vestibular view of the finished full contoured bridge. Third one is a view from occlusal side, and the fourth one is a, is a patient smile, just to see how it blends into the rest. <clears throat> uh, now we are going to talk about AI and how you can implement it into your workflow. So here we have a long span bridge on implants with FX multilayer solar crowns on top of it. Why is AI? We decided to go with this approach because the crowns were FX multilayer, high translucency. That is why we need a base that will reflect, reflect light back. In other words, we need opacity. If there is no reflection of the, of the light, there is no color. Zai is a classic and the beginning of zirconia. It has the power to cover any dye, even metal but also providing base for strong, strong reflection. So we designed the framework milled and infiltrated red on gingiva part with ceramic liquid colors. Uh, the design stumps were infiltrated with the dentin color from ceramic liquid colors also. And this is the same case but finished. Uh, the picture on the left is gluing FX multilayer crowns on support structure from ZAI. The one on the right is the finished case on the model, and the last one is in the patient's mouth. So everything here is made from full zirconia, except for the gingiva, which was layered with ceramic. Stay close to nature, a saying by famous dental technician Yuno Endo. Today, thanks to new zirconia from Amman Gerbach, we really can be closer than ever. Uh, thank you very much for taking the time to listen to this short presentation.